Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to more LX content. Also, if you are not a subscriber to this channel and you are interested in more 100 series videos, make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any future videos. So as you may or may not know, this LX has been a work in progress ever since that I had purchased it and just recently I got it registered to drive on the road. While I was driving back from the DMV, a check engine light popped up on the dash, so obviously I checked it out. So after checking the light with the OBD2 reader, it came back as a P0155, which I believe is going to be an O2 sensor, bank 2, sensor 1. So that is what I got today, and that's what we're going to replace. Now coming in from the passenger side, it's probably going to be a little difficult to see, but right there, you see that wire, that is going to be the connector right there, and it leads up into the O2 sensor right there. So I had read that someone had come from the top down to do this, but I think that since my cladding is off underneath, I'm just going to come from the bottom up and hope that uh, that works a little bit better. So let's get under there and see how it looks from uh, underneath. All right, we are now underneath the LX looking up. Let me get my light here. And as you can see, getting a little bit better of a view. Let me focus here. Get a little bit better view of the O2 sensor. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attempt to get in there to unhook uh, the sensor and then throw some liquid wrench on that bolt and let it sit for a while and then come back and see if we can get this thing loose. Here is actually a different view coming from more of the center of vehicle looking up at it and it may not really look like it on camera but this is actually a better viewpoint where you can see the nut uh, so I'm going to try to get some film here. This is very close quarter, so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get. Uh, there you can see it a little bit better. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the tool on and then see if we can break this thing loose. There's the O2 sensor. Got my socket here. It's a 22 millimeter. See, fit that over. There you go. That's secure right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my wrench on it and try to break this thing free. So hopefully it breaks free easily and then uh, I can show you what it looks like once we get it out. So in this clip, as you can see, the video footage is very slow and for some reason I had recorded this in slow motion. Obviously the audio that I had recorded here would be no good because it actually sounded like a zombie chasing you from The Walking Dead. So you wouldn't be able to understand anything that I was saying anyhow. But what I was trying to convey to you in this video clip is one, there is the end of the O2 sensor and how easily mine broke free. Now that might not be the case for everybody, but mine broke free very easily and then the only thing else that I would say is to make sure that your electrical connection is also disconnected so once you start unscrewing that O2 sensor it will be able to come out that much easier. Alright so I'm replacing it with a Denso. There is the part number right there. I think it was like 35 bucks off of Rock Auto. As you can see there is the old one. Um, big issue with this vehicle when I first got it the valve covers leaking everywhere so pretty much anything under the valve covers is soaked in oil and then here's the brand new one nice shiny clean so just hoping that uh it stays that way so this one came with some copper sealant so we're going to put that lightly around the threads making sure not to get into any of the holes just lightly on there and then we're going to go and reinstall this in the vehicle I guess so as you can see lightly with the copper sealant on the threads and then it's time to go throw it back in the vehicle i guess hopefully you can see right there that is the hole that the o2 sensor goes back into still looking pretty clean so we're going to go ahead and thread it back in there tighten it down do the connection and we're all finished i guess you can see right there the connection is back together 
and that is going up into our new O2 sensor right there. Everything's nice and snug. So we're gonna go up top, clear the code, and be done. All right, so I just got a little cheap reader here. It's like 35 bucks. I don't know, AutoZone or Amazon. Uh, and if you don't know where your OBD2 reader port is, right up there in the uh, footwell. All right, so that is the code that we were getting. And then we are gonna go ahead and erase. And then once we're finished erasing, the battery light should go off. All right, done. And we're gonna come up here, start the vehicle. Make sure the battery light is indeed off. All right, there you go. No more check engine light. Code is cleared. And hopefully that sensor is gonna do its job. We're not gonna have that check engine light pop up anymore. All right guys, so I just wanted to show you, I have gone about 75 miles since I changed the O2 sensor and the check engine light has not come on. Uh, it was coming on between 25 to 30 miles. So I've done double that amount. So I think we're good. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this down and dirty video. Because of lack of space, uh, some of the filming was a little more difficult and then also some uh, filming errors on my part obviously didn't help uh, lead to the clarity maybe of how easy this job was. But from start to finish, it took me only about 30 minutes uh, to complete. So I would say a very easy job, something you can tackle on your own. If you have any questions about it, leave it down in the comments below or hit me up on my Instagram. Also, be sure to like this video, share with your friends. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more LX content to come. And as always, thank you for watching.